you know, apart from all these things that I do, like as a, as a routine or as a habit or as a means for growth, like if I can stand apart from that and just be, and I think that's the really difficult thing with our culture and the coaching, you know, the coaching culture, you know, I'm not a coach either, but it's all about it. It's very rarely just about being and like stripping away. It's about adding things. And I'm a big fan of like Nassim Taleb's via negativa, which is we learn a thing by the opposite of the thing. And like that really what we should be trying to do is strip away instead of adding. And so I'm, I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are on that. Yeah, no, I think that's absolutely right. Especially in a world where we have more than we could ever imagine and we mm-hmm. feel less fulfilled than ever. Um, so that just tells you like, you know, abundance in material and abundance in disposition toward life are very different things. Um, and so actually probably what most of us need, yeah, is letting go and, and trying to find wholeness without the things. And again, it's not, it, one, it can be taken. And the other thing is, it's just not going to work forever. Like, that's the other thing to think about. Like, it, the, you know, maybe you use weed to feel whole or maybe you use the gym to feel whole or whatever, right? I, I've used all these things. Um, the, the thing is though, like, they're going to work less and less, right? This is what addiction is. It's a narrowing of what excites you, right? And so this is why you end up on page 195 on Pornhub, right? It doesn't stay the way it started. It gets deeper and deeper and worse and worse and harder and harder and more difficult and more difficult. And the gym is that anything that activates your dopaminergic pathways is going to work that way. And so the reason to work toward wholeness isn't to say like, oh, these things are bad, right? We always demonize the thing. It's like, oh, mm-hmm the, you know, it's bad. It's good. It's like, no, it, the problem's here. You've got to work through the problem in yourself because whether or not that's good or bad is irrelevant. You've got something going on in here that you've got to work through. Um, so just opening up to that can be a really beneficial process because you can start to find wholeness without those things. Um, in, in response to your thoughts about stoic. So I, I follow a wisdom path and, it kind of dawned on me actually this morning that like what wisdom is, is like just takes a dialectic view of the world, right? It looks at both and all the time. So this situation, like part of this is all meaningless, right? Part of this is we're going to exist as dust on a planet that used to hold life a million years from now, you know, two million years from now, whatever, whatever it might be. 